This is a brief update on newly formed Tropical Storm Ophelia in the Central Atlantic as we head on into Wednesday, September 21st. As of the initial advisory from the Hurricane Center, Ophelia is packing maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, is moving off toward the west at 9 miles per hour, and it could be impacting the Northeast Caribbean, including the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico, during the middle and latter half of this upcoming weekend. It is somewhat unusual for the Hurricane Center to upgrade tropical cyclones during the overnight hours, and that is mainly because we rarely have any type of reconnaissance data this far out into the Central Atlantic, and furthermore, we don't have the ability to look at visible satellite imagery. But thankfully, we did have an ASCAT satellite pass during the late evening hours, and it did detect maximum sustained winds of tropical storm force, and it also appears that we now have a closed surface circulation, so this was all of the information that the Hurricane Center needed to make this tropical storm Ophelia. Although this system has intensified into a minimal tropical storm, it is still somewhat disorganized with most of the tropical storm force winds occurring well north of the center. And also notice that much of the convection is both north and to the south of the center. So this system still has a long ways to go before it really becomes all that well defined. And the latest water vapor imagery shows that it does have a very good moisture profile, but we do have some slight southwest 15 knot wind shear, as the Hurricane Center had indicated in their latest tropical weather discussion. Overall, however, this does appear to be a somewhat favorable pattern for at least some development initially over the next 48 hours, and the official forecast does take tropical storm Ophelia to a maximum intensity of 50 miles per hour, but once it begins to near the Leeward Islands, they do indicate that it will weaken ever so gradually to a 40 to 45 mile per hour tropical storm. And there is the outside possibility that it could fall apart altogether once over the far northeast Caribbean. If we turn to the latest wind shear analysis, we see that the upper level winds are marginally favorable near the northeast Caribbean at the moment. But if we go ahead and switch back over to the central Atlantic water vapor, we can see that this is a large trough just to the northeast of the tropical storm. We see wind shear values in excess of 40 to 50 knots in this area, and this upper level trough as a whole is forecast to retrograde more toward the west, and by this point in the three to five day forecast period, Ophelia is more than likely going to run into a southwest wall of southwesterly wind shear. You may be able to make this out fairly easily on the 12Z run of the European model. This map is what shows the strong westerly wind shear that's currently in place over the central Atlantic. That's the current time, but as we advance this all the way through day five, notice that the greatest shear becomes centered over the northeast Caribbean, and that's because we have this upper level low that develops just to the north of Hispaniola. So this system is not going to become a very strong one. In fact, I see little in the way of any significant change in intensity, and in fact, there is the outside chance once again that it could fall apart once it begins to near Puerto Rico. And even if it doesn't, if it does maintain a tropical storm classification throughout the period, it's going to eventually recurve over the western Atlantic thanks to this presence of a large trough over much of the southeast United States by day 5 and day 6. So tropical storm Ophelia is expected to bring some heavy rainfall and some isolated strong wind gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour over the northeast Caribbean, but otherwise this is not going to be a significant event and it doesn't look like it's going to be much of a threat to the southeast United States. But as always, we will continue to follow what is occurring on a daily basis here at 28storms.com, so please stay tuned.